An Atlanta City Councilwoman says she is tired of seeing the fire department treated, in her words, as the ugly stepchild of public safety. That response is indicative of an emergency the City Council says the city faces due to a shortage of working engines and ladders. Fox Eyes More Stakes tells us the council is debating new funding of nearly $20 million for additional equipment. Morse is live at one station in northeast Atlanta with more details, Morse. Well, there are two issues, and they're both bad for the fire service. First of all, the new trucks that have been paid for, it just takes too long to get them to the city. And the turnaround time on the existing trucks in the garage, it's just too slow. Fire readiness in the city of Atlanta has been a concern due to equipment being down. For city council, whose members hear directly from citizens, their concerns grew to a boil after hearing about stations being shuttered. And I do not know why continuously, when it comes to public safety, fire is treated like the ugly stepchild. It makes no, absolutely no sense to me because of what you all do, because the entire safety of the city depends on it. I get the feeling that the administration is surprised by our intense interest in this. You're, I'm sorry. Are, I'm sorry. Are, are you surprised that we're intensely interested in this? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Well, how not. come I only heard from the administration just before this meeting via a phone call to attempt to open a dialogue with me or to hear my views on the matter? And I'm not sure, and I apologize for that. The fire department reports that as of now, all stations are back open, but the council members are demanding fleet replacement. They want to tap nearly $20 million in new funding to buy new trucks and new ladders. And about 15 minutes ago, city council members approved two proposals for new equipment. Those are Councilman Dustin Hillis's authored those papers. They have been approved. Now, my sources are telling me in terms of what's going to fix this quickly. Well, nothing really, because it takes two to three years. If you order that equipment tomorrow, it's going to take two to three years to get it. Now, here's the problem at the garage. One of the things is that it takes special expensive equipment to repair the existing trucks. The managers were advised, I'm told, to go ahead and order three or four pieces in case you need them. But because of money, they didn't want to have those extra parts on the shelf. And as a result, when you try to get them, there's a backlog in getting the replacement parts. From Northeast Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. All right, Morse, we appreciate your work getting information on that.